for All About Business, which is the Sunday morning KPLR show that profiles local businesses and entrepreneurs. And today, we're being joined by trademark attorney Morris Turek from YourTrademarkAttorney.com. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so now, let's take us through like a little scenario. Someone has an invention and they need to get a trademark. Um, you're somebody that can help them out because you know the ropes and you're a lawyer and, and maybe can help them uh, avoid some of the pitfalls the, on their journey toward trying to get an invention to market. That, that's correct. I, I basically help businesses avoid being sued for trademark infringement. So we do that by clearing and registering the various names, logos, and slogans they use to advertise and sell their products and services. So if an inventor comes up with an invention and they want to uh, name it something or use a logo associated with it to sell it, we would clear that and register for them. Yeah, because you never know. And if you think that you know it's something that you, you can do on your own, you might want to think again because it's pretty complex. Yeah, there, there are a lot of pitfalls uh, when you try to clear or register a trademark. The application form can kind of be deceptive. Mm -hmm. um, it looks kind of easy, but there are a lot of pitfalls and if you make certain mistakes, they're not correctable. So the filing fees you, you spend filing the application would just go to waste. What a horrible thing to turn around and then find out that someone's suing you for trademark infringement and you had no intention in doing that. Yeah, it's really bad new tr trademark infringement. The, uh, the costs associated with defending a trademark infringement lawsuit are very, very high. If you lose a trademark infringement lawsuit, you might have to change the name of your product or the name of your service. Therefore, you'd lose all the goodwill and reputation associated with your product or service. Yeah. You have to ch and then, of course, there are lots of costs associated with actually changing the name. Yeah. You know, I think people sometimes think, well, I have a great invention, but they don't realize that it's a process, a long process, often. I mean, I guess there are the exceptions, but for the most part, it's a very long process. Yeah, obtaining a, a, obtaining a uh, federally registered trademark uh, can take anywhere up to a year, but it could even take a, a, a longer than four years to, yeah. to get one. Just It really depends on a lot of different factors. Uh, another reason why you might want to hire a trademark attorney to assist you. Yeah, now how would you say that your company is different than uh, other companies? Um, you know, you might come across a lot of uh, trademark law firms on the internet. They do a lot of work over web forms and, and things like that, but we don't do that. You know, we, uh, we offer very personalized service. We're always willing to talk to you on the, on the telephone or even meet with you in person. And um, that's what our focus is. And we believe we, you know, we, we uh, give better service by doing that. Yeah, is this the kind of law that you started out to do? Did you see, or did you see that there was a great need in this area? Uh, I actually started doing this type of law uh, while I was still in law school okay. as a law clerk. And then after I graduated, I, I continued to do this type of work because I really do enjoy it. And I think uh, small businesses, especially small businesses, need the type of services that I provide. Yeah, and it's great to be able to have someone like you to go to so that you can avoid all that stuff because it can really turn your life upside down if you end up being sued for something that, you know, you, your intentions were never that to begin with. It's, so that's, that's, that's sad. Absolutely, it's, it is very sad and happens a lot more than you think. There's a lot of trademark yeah. infringement litigation out there. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. That's, oh, thank it's you. It's fascinating. You can find out about All About Business. It's on Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock right here on KPLR 11. And there's always more information on the web at KPLR11.com. So if you think you have an invention and you want to keep going, uh, proceeding and going through all the steps, then you need to see what's going on Sunday on All About Business. Well, new insights.